my name is Sharita Thorpe, born and raised in West Philly. I'm the middle child, have two sisters and a brother, so it's four of us. I, I was always energetic, problem child growing up, very fun, laid back, um, friendly type of person, very well liked and not very social. Um, uh, my parents passed away in um, 1994 um, and 1997. It put me in a dark place with no way to turn. Where, where, where would I go from here? You know, uh, it just made me feel left alone. Um, and my lifestyle, I'm a lesbian, you know, part of the LGBT community. Well, I was always confused growing up. I mean, I, I knew then I was a tomboy, but people was telling me that I was gay, but I, I'm not sure if I was, but by people telling me, you know, kind of messed my head up a little bit. Yeah, I knew I was different, you know. But as I got older, it just got worse for me. I gave my, my parents a hard way to go growing up, just in and out of lockup, juvenile homes, detention homes, um, alternative schools, you know, just being rebellious, not having respect for authority. I wasn't getting much respect um, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? I had to fight my way to get the respect that I wanted and I deserved, you know. Yeah, I mean, I have a nephew that um, that's going through it now. He also suffers from um, bipolar depression, but it's a lot of my family members that suffer from that because I had an aunt that um, committed suicide from being um, depressed. Um, so it just went down from one generation to the next generation. So. My nephew suffer from it now, constantly in another lockups. Okay, I found out um, about the attic at the age of um, 16. Um, when I came home from being um, locked up in a um, um, psychiatric center, um, once I turned 16, I had got resources of the attic, um, something that, I, you know, find out later on that would help me come out of the closet and help me define my lifestyle because at, at one point I, I didn't know who I was. I was kind of lost and confused and um, my sexuality was uh, a, a big part of me. Once I started going to the attic, uh, it was more people like myself, you know, that was also lesbian, gays, you know, transgender, you know what I'm saying? Um, they helped me um, define who I am, and they made, um, helped me to um, better myself and, um, and get comfortable with my lifestyle. Because without them, I wasn't that came by the closet and I wasn't felt comfortable with myself, you know what I'm saying? Because people was like gay bashing, you know, um, making me feel less than what I am, making me feel like I, 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 ain't, I ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? But um, they definitely was there for me. Um, well, this alliance helped me a, a, a lot. I came a long way with them. Um, when I first started in 2011, I was still a lot angrier than I am now. You know, I wasn't taking my medicine frequently. Um, I was like constantly getting in trouble, wanting to fight people, you know, not caring what people say to me. There's having a negative response and going off a negative response to everything that anybody said to me. Um, they helped me um, manage my diabetes, you know what I'm saying? Helping me lose weight. I got a gym trainer who works with me frequently.
um, they help me with cooking, so that's going well. Yeah, I mean, just having hope. Don't give up. Don't let negativity get in the way or change you from being who the person you are.